Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. Good tides make men merry, while challenges put them together. The challenges of COVID-19 can bind us together in freedom, peace, and unity. COVID-19, a better Nigeria is possible. I'll take this opportunity to thank all our public health workforce, healthcare workers, port health authorities, and other essential staffs on the front line of the response for their dedication and commitment. You are true heroes. That was President Muhammad Buhari in his nationwide address delivered on the 29th of March 2020 at 7 p.m. Why is I thank the president for being able to thank our public and private health workforce who are in the front line of the response in our fight against the global pandemic COVID-19? I dare say that this is not the time to just say thank you with, without nothing more. Our government should do much more than thank you for our health service workers who are daily attending to COVID-19 patients. For a start, they should be handed a free life insurance policies. The allowances and salaries should be reviewed upward. It is shameful that we are still paying them 5,000 Naira hazard allowance, when 5,000 Naira can hardly solve any ha, not to talk of hazard, in the present day Nigeria. With the current global reality, even the big hospitals in those foreign countries where our leaders run to for headache don't have space for them, as they too are battling with their own situation. What if the general hospitals they neglected long, long ago had neglected Abakari, Atiku Abakar's son, Erufai and others, now that they needed it most? The stone rejected by the builders, you say. Need I remind us that 55 million Nigerians had no access to clean water, even as we are told to wash our hands? And whilst we sit at home, more than 65% of Nigerians live in slums, face me, I face you, and places you can hardly call home. About 87 million Nigerians live on daily hustle to survive as they barely feed from heart to mouth. Our teaching hospitals are mere consulting clinics, while the intensive care units do not even have required facilities to give care, not to talk of the intensive one. According to a World Health Organization report, Nigeria have five hospital bed space, both public and private, for every 10,000 Nigerians. No wonder we are the poverty capital of the world. With the 110 modern hospital bed donated by GTB to the Lagos State Government, it is obvious that we can achieve these things if we set our mind and have a sincerity of purpose towards it. We need not wait until there's a global health crisis before we start looking inward. Our time starts now. Let our religious leaders who are building mansions and 10, 20, 30 kilometers churches auditorium with tithes and offering from poor and vulnerable ones, without a 10 meter hospital bed to contribute to the crisis, they must be aware now that why is prayer can aid focus, it's actual works that breed results. I weep when I compare the stadium-like edifice we call churches to the best of our hospitals. Try comparing the ICPC and the EFCC headquarters with our national hospital. Shame will catch you. Against these realities, China built an hospital in 10 days to fight the virus. We built a 110 modern hospital bed in five days thanks to Lagos State Government and GTB, which is a testament to the can-do spirit of the ordinary Nigeria. So if we are sincere and genuinely looking world, we no go carry last. I would therefore advocate that while we are looking for donors and partners to help contribute in our fight against the pandemic, the time to look inward and use this opportunity to revamp not just our health, educational and research institution sector is now, but our complete infrastructural deficit also, we should look at them now. But while we are at that, remember that why COVID-19 has killed about 45,000 people globally Boko Haram, terrorism, insurgency, militancy, and kidnapping 
have killed more than 20 million people in Nigeria alone since the past 18 years. So if we tell them today all that we have been telling them, they will listen more now. As that which is currently chasing all of us, you know, they respect anybody. Quite interesting. Yeah, very well said. C can I quickly just say four things that I picked from? One is data management, our religious leaders, and this quest to have universities and, you know, Auditor yeah. um, auditorium that are almost like stadiums, yeah. and the fact that it took some of them, they, some of them had delayed response to the needs of the nation, and the fact that the private sector can really contribute a lot to infrastructure development in Nigeria. You made a very valid point. Our, our worship leaders, I don't want to, to narrow it down to churches alone because we also have the other religion yeah. as well. If only they can look at the health sector also and do something there. What's the point in all of us going to the church? Now we know what really matters. is the yeah. health workers. This morning I remembered Minister Ngige who said our, our doctors will go to wherever. wherever. We have more than enough. I've been wondering where he is, because he's not been talking since <laughs> COVID <laughs> hit the world. So he should tell us now, when do we begin to now go get our... Now they are Yes. Abroad, they're asking doctors all over the world to come. Come, it's like, come over to Macedonia to help yeah. us. Mm -hmm. So where is Minister Ngege? He should come back and say what he said the other yeah. time. No, I mean, you're right. I mean, again, sorry, you were going to say And finally, else. now we, yeah, I've said who, who, the people who matter really at the end of the day, the private sector, isn't it amazing the kind of donations we're having these days? So what happened to us before COVID-19? No, the COVID-19 has no respect for that. But Healthcare is a system, mm -hmm. and a very extensive one for that matter. And when we're addressing it, it has to come from a central planning perspective. What we are doing today is what I call knee-jerk reactions. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. function very well. But I'm just hoping that by the time this is over, somebody will suddenly realize that I may actually be trapped in my own country and I can't get out. Yeah. <laughs> and it is that same facility that I didn't pay attention to that may help it's me out now. in the future. It's so happening. can we think in a systemic manner and address the problem as it is? You see, our priorities are reflected in the things we do. Mm -hmm. if, if we knew that we would ever get to use our own hospitals, they would be better than they are I, right I guess now. by we, you're talking about our leaders. Our leaders, yeah. <laughs> OK, let's, our leaders. sorry, have you landed better, your It will be much better than have what you, Have you landed your first? OK, okay let's, I'm let's, not let's rushing go. You, but mm. Yeah, the form over substance, that's what kept coming to my mind, you know, because even when you did your advocacy and we're saying, OK, you know, why are people not turning their attention to things that will actually drive proper change? It's because we're preoccupied. And that, for me, is an extension of what you see in the religious uh, body. Yeah. They, they like to give an appearance of righteousness. Meanwhile, there's no real heart to do good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because I know someone, I normally would be, I mean, I'm a Christian, but I, I can't defend anybody now who doesn't see the need to do good and does it, and rather you're, you're busy focusing on the form. Then you're exposing yourself. So I think COVID-19 is exposing a lot of our hypocrisies at this time. Because someone I know who is, you know, an ardent follower of um, one of the churches, one of the big churches, says, look, I love my pastor to death with her words. But Today, I see, you know, the people where we worship, a lot of them are very destitute, where we have our, our churches. They're very destitute. But instead, when I was on the online worship, they're asking for tithes. And she's saying that she's very unhappy. She's <laughs> going to call him and re reprimand him and say, haven't you noticed that a lot of your parishioners don't even have, because they live hand to mouth, shouldn't we now be saying how they will come and we can put food for them to come and get food? Why are you asking? So it's inappropriate. And if she could see, of course, he should have known even that. He shouldn't be waiting for her to is. say that. Come on to obey social I mean, distancing. And, and, and so even the same thing for our leaders. You know you've been living there amongst people who are dying every day and you don't care until you're trapped with them. Yeah. So there's something seriously wrong with the heart. You, you, really you know the I'm point I made? The, the point I made recently was that even our Lord, for those of us who are Christians, mm. ministered comfort to people. Yes. He went about healing, which is yes, why I'm our doctors good. are important, yeah. and food. He yeah. gave food. Yeah. In Nigeria today, almost every street has a church. I'm yet to see the streets, at least not on my street, not on the people not I know, on my street, where no. these churches are we'll provided disinfectants and yeah. sa sanitizers no, are and provided down. food. It's they part are collecting of online tights. Whereas I've heard of, I've heard of, of experts, I've heard of experts who are coming together, and yes. these are people who are not even Nigerians, yeah. and they're donating their thing yeah. to help the 
destitute. Definitely. Because it's, it's an instinct. Right. If you really want to do good, it's an instinct. You shouldn't be happy so, to sit so by for me, and see yeah. people suffering. I, I think some churches are doing it. Yeah, they must. They have yeah. started. Yeah. I mean, yes. I heard of yes. some. some. I'm not just, I'm not just churches. Actually, what, what, I am the saying, what I am there saying is... some churches that are doing What I'm saying is, look, a better Nigeria is possible. It yes. is. It is not only the government, all of us. Yes. All of us. And as we're speaking now, there are people in the bush that are fighting to keep Nigeria safe. Correct. And those people also, we need to also look Turn at them. them. And as we speak, yes, the big headquarters, the head office, the head, ch head church can donate four cars. Yes. But they have branches. And the essence of those branches was to reach out to those yes, smaller the grassroots, units, yes. the grassroots. And so there's need for those branches to also. To you know the people that yeah. you've been collecting yeah. offering from. This is the time to also reach out to yeah, them. No, no, you and said it. say, you know what? Let's collect from the center and distribute. And give out to these yeah. poor people that have not. In fact, some of them, I even learned that some that are distributing, they will look at, oh, do you have tight card before you get For something? Real? And I'm telling you, and it's so sad. It, it's, it, it, it's, That's what I'm saying. Now, this COVID will expose a lot of people. <laughs> yes. 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 Because if you're genuine, you'll do the right thing. If you're not, then all this other form will. will and it's not, it's not even just about the fact that they are members of your church. Yeah. Reaching out to yeah, people. Love your neighbors should, yourself. Exactly. <laughs> but, but, but let me you quickly know. chip in something as we round up on this one. Is mm. that it's commendable that churches have built universities. Yeah. It's, it's another uh, uh, discussion that some of these universities are not affordable for yeah. ordinary people. Yeah. But this COVID 19 is telling us that just as universities are important, it's Healthcare. about time yeah. we yeah. looked at hospitals yeah. also. Yeah. You know. Does that clash with the miracle concept? Which one? No. It does expose our miracle concept. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just that's putting that's it out there. I want to see. It does expose our miracle concept now. Even God them principles. Because I've never seen anybody shouting, come and receive your COVID your healing. COVID, uh, healing. Yeah. So, <laughs> some people are selling COVID. No, there's some, there's some pastors who are also I've ministry. I've never seen anybody and lay hand and then you yeah. Yeah. Even, yeah. even yeah. some yeah. of them. <laughs> if they say somebody has COVID now, I've never seen a pastor say, okay, I will put hand on you. They run away from it. Anyway, that's another day, like I told you, I said that's topic for another day. After the break, Bola House shares his thoughts, lockdown, and the poor.